Ati Ntebe, there is a, a maritime rescue coordination center amounting over about 1.3 million over 3 billion Ugandan shillings. And uh, a number of coordination centers, about nine, that will be spread within the Republic of Uganda, Lake Kyoga, Lake Albert, and within the Lake Victoria uh, uh, itself. In addition, some navigation equipment also will be installed. These efforts, if well uh, implemented and respected, we are sure in the future transport in the lake will be more safe, more secured. And uh, the efforts that we, the way you have said, the Honorable Minister, let us continue increasing our awareness to the users, transporters, such that they know the value of safety and the taking security measures, such that we avoid this kind of, of tragedy and access in the future. I want again to clarify, the ban of night travel does not apply to the two fishermen in their boat who have gone to, 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 to take their nets out of water. This is about those boats, the Vinara, somebody talked about it, the Vinara, which transport people and goods. Don't overload, don't travel at night, don't travel without a life jacket. I want to thank the, uh, Mr. Wiede here and the team for uh, responding to this need. We are going to hand over these items to the chairperson of Kaseny landing site because he knows the victims who went through this, but also we want him to ensure that these life jackets are distributed to the Vinala, the, the boats which are carrying people from Kaseny to the islands.